Diabetes mellitus is a group of diseases caused by a malfunction in the insulin pathway. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. The process to make insulin starts with the translation to make a larger and therefore more stable molecule called proinsulin. An extra piece of proinsulin is cleaved to make the smaller, less stable insulin molecule. The smaller shape of insulin is important for its function allows it to move quickly in the blood and be easily captured by cell surface receptors. When insulin binds to its target cells, it stimulates blood sugar uptake by body cells. Liver cells, in addition to taking in more sugar for metabolism, stores the sugar as glycogen for use in low blood sugar conditions. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system attacks the pancreas beta cells, which produces insulin. As the beta cells die, insulin production stops altogether. Consequently, blood sugar is not taken into the cells, depriving cells of chemical energy causing high blood sugar levels, which is known as hyperglycemia. High glucose levels lead to dehydration when more urine is needed to excrete excess sugar and large swings in pH as the body starts metabolizing acidic molecules instead of sugar. Type 2 diabetes is known as insulin resistance. Somatic cells are not able to respond to insulin in the blood, therefore not being able to take up sugar from the blood. Insulin receptors consist of three segments, the insulin binding portion, the transmembrane, and the tyrosine kinase domain. Usually these domains work together, however, when the receptor is phosphorylated, there is an allosteric change, which changes the insulin binding portion of the protein. Due to this change, the binding site no longer functions, preventing the signal transduction pathway and cellular response that causes sugar intake. Glucose builds up in the bloodstream, causing an increase of insulin production from the pancreas to counter the glucose. However, over time, the body will not be able to produce enough insulin to keep blood glucose levels at a normal level. Diabetes is caused by a genetic predisposition as well as an addition of environmental causes. Those who get little to no exercise, smoke, stress, and have irregular sleep schedules are at risk to becoming diabetic. If you are 45 years and older, overweight or obese, or have a family history of diabetes, you are at more risk of developing diabetes. Stay healthy with a proper diet and daily exercise.